what's going on y'all so welcome back to another and uh, a little bit late <laughs> monday night raw review uh we actually got a return for the first i think for the first time since braun Strowman. yeah i would like to say that for the first time since braun Strowman, we got a return uh, um that i could think of anyway but this episode of monday night raw wasn't bad it was actually Pretty decent, pretty decent. I said it's a pretty good, decent episode of Monday Night Raw. Not it moved a lot of moving parts, but let's get into it. So they started off with Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss and Oscar by her side, and they came and cut a promo on damage control, basically telling damage, basically confronting, uh, well not confronting because damage control didn't come out yet, but. They basically cut a promo with Bianca talking about how she uh, uh, talking about damage control and how they they didn't try to take over or whatnot, but that she's ready for them that she uh, and that she wants to challenge one of them tonight. This will bring out damage control who will who will basically co uh, confront um, Bianca about her accusations and basically about her match with Bailey at Strain Rules. And Bailey basically told Bianca that everything that she accomplished and done, she only did it while uh, uh, you know Bailey was out injured. Meaning that if you if I wasn't injured, she basically said, meaning if I wasn't injured, you wouldn't have never accomplished none of this. And Bianca basically refuted that by saying that this all uh, she was here. You know some of this stuff started. You know, basically, it started when she was here. That she remembered beating uh, Bailey and all that type of stuff. And uh, ba Bailey said, "You know what? That's the past." And fitting that you, fitting that she uh, brought up. I did. She, Bianca said something about KOD and uh, Bailey on onto a ladder. And uh, uh, what you gonna call it? Uh, Bailey said, "You know, funny that you mentioned that." So she. She ch she's up in the ante for their match at the Stream Rules. She said at the Stream Rules, she's challenging Be uh, uh, Bianca to a ladder match, which Bianca Belair uh, accepted. And the and then uh, who's oh yeah, then Bianca Belair would get she would try to challenge one of them, but you know they basically said they go to save it for them. But she went and got in the face right of EO Sky and thus ended the promo and straight into the first match of the night, which was Bianca Belair versus EO Sky. Now, that match was a good match. I think uh, uh, it was a very, I want to say very good. It was a good match. Um, it, it, I guess you could say it could have it been worse ways to start off the show, but it's, it was a very decent match. Got. I think it went through two commercial breaks. Yeah, so I think it got a pretty good length. And, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, the, you know, obviously interference from both, um, both sides, you know, uh, Bailey, I mean, yeah, Bailey and Dakota Kai, and then you got uh, Alexa Bliss and, um, Oscar. I still just wish they would have gave, I know that, you know, since Bailey and them came back, it's like the play. It's like because they look like it was plans for um for after uh, for Alexa to challenge uh, Bianca Belair, but then I guess the sudden you know go ahead. Okay, we got Bailey and the color kind of Sky back. Now we're gonna change that type of plan. I I still hope that eventually once this all settled and done with Bailey and stuff. Oscar, we get to see Oscar and him in the main event picture, but I digress. Uh, Bianca will win by hitting the KOD or uh, a thanks to the help from Alexa Bliss, you know, keeping Bailey and the others at bay. Uh, Bianca was able to hit the KOD or uh, EO Sky to get the victory. Um, we then get a backstage promo with. Uh, with Ray Mysterio just basically talking about his mindset and what he what his mind going through after Dominic tried to get him to get him to hit him with the chair last week. Um we, but he talked about not having no mercy for Seth Rollins. Speaking of which, Seth Rollins would then come out to the ring to make to cut his promo on Matt Riddle. 
and uh, uh, for his scheduled match against Rey Mysterio. Uh, but he will cut a promo first on Matt Riddle, saying that he had talking about how he almost had Bobby Lashley beat, and he should be standing here, your new United States champion. But because of Matt, because of what Matt Riddle did, you know he's not, and that he's read all the tweets and everything. He's seen how people saying that. He's not, he's out of his element in this uh, 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 fight pit match, and uh, and he said that it, he he reminded him so that he said freaking Rollins, and that no match is too much for him, and that he's basically gonna come out on top and beat Matt Riddle and give Rey Mysterio the beating that uh, he was too cowardly to give Dominic Mysterio. That was just what bring out Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio would just instantly get, when he got in the ring, he just walked straight up and drop kick uh, with Seth Rollins to begin a match. And this match was a good one too. This was another good one between the two. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't got nothing bad to say about this one. It, it, it this match went, it went, it was good. I enjoyed it, and um, we knew there was gonna be interference from both sides. Uh, Except for it wasn't no interference on Rey Mysterio's side. He did, like Matt Riddle did come out. He did watch the match backstage, which was weird. You would think he would have came out and helped, but I guess because since it was the match with Seth Rollins and not with somebody else with Seth Rollins interfering. But, yeah, uh, but for uh, Ray, Seth Rollins, Dominic Mysterio will come out and, and that, uh, w right when Rey Mysterio had the victory in hand, Dominic would uh, act like he was going to hit Rey Mysterio, but then he th he just dropped the chair and allowed Rey Mysterio to pick it up. But once again, taunting him and, and trying to get him to hit him with the chair, thus uh, uh, allow Rhea Ripley to hit Rey Mysterio from behind while Seth had the referee distracted. Seth hit uh, hit Rey Mysterio with a stomp, and he used the uh, uh, Brazilian necktie, I think that's what they call it, submission hole, to beat Rey Mysterio. Um, I only think, the only thing right now is I, they need to get down something more to do because I'm a little, just not all the way, but I'm a little bit bored with, um, uh, Dominic Mysterio's character still with Judgment Day, but it's still a change of pace for Dominic Mysterio. I just wish that he had more to do. He, since joining Judgment Day, he only had one match against Edge that Ended, that ended with interference anyway, so you just give me a little bit more, you know, character development for Dominic. Um, let's see, we got uh, we got the next, oh, we got a Miz TV or Miz TV, a Miz promo where he uh, where he he gathered up some special security guards that he called the Miz Force, and he sent them looking for Damian Priest, which I like that throughout the night with different people. We find different uh, people from the Miz from the Miz Force laid out at different places in the arena, uh, and the reason why I say that because uh, on, when uh, which one call it uh, Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano was headed towards the ring, it started with them. They was you know Kevin Owens wrapping his wrist with tape, and all of a sudden they just passed on one of the, one of the Miz Force just laid out. That I think it, the other one was with AJ Styles, and he uh, and he saw another one of the men's forces laid out. But um, speaking of which, that would be our next match, which is Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano versus the Alpha Academy. And this this match was good. This is by far, I would say, this was match of the night because it had great spots, it had great moments, kickouts, near falls. Is he, even when you thought, even when you thought, um, with the interference from Austin Theory, and you thought that was going to be the end of it, that ended up being a near fall in, in itself. But yeah, it, it, this match was good. I was like I said, like I said, this got this had to be the match of the night. It, Cause I don't think any match was better than this match. This match right here was better than the first match and the match before it. But this is definitely was the uh, I think any match after it too. Um, I'm trying to see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no match was uh was better than this match. Um, uh, but Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano would get the victory despite Austin Theory's uh 
interference, speaking of which, Austin Theory gave them a tongue lashing backstage, you know, yelling at them, basically talking about how they lost to uh, Kevin Owens. Uh, uh, Ch Chad Gable would make some disparaging remarks about uh, Braun Strowman, to which, in the middle of their promo, Austin Theory did get a phone call. He has the phones for Chad Gable is Braun Strowman, basically telling him, uh, he, you know, he basically telling Ch showing Chad that he's watching Raw because he repeated what uh, Chad Gable said about him and that he uh, that he's gonna be on Raw next week to challenge um, uh, Chad Gable into the one on one and that Otis will have a, a match with Johnny Gargano next week as well. Um, Apparently next week's two uh, Raw is going to be the season premiere. I think this coming Friday, SmackDown is the season premiere for SmackDown, and then it's going to be the season premiere for Raw. Um, which is weird because we did usually when you get a season premiere, usually we we would have had the draft by now. I don't know what's going on with that. Like I said, basically the the uh, brand split is basically over. Uh, even though they really do keep, they really still keep all the brands separate. Except for the except for key moments like tonight, and for example, with Sami Zayn and Solo being on Raw, I guess apparently over Twitter, AJ Styles had uh, had some remarks about uh, Sami getting his honorary U shirt, which Sami took offense to, and thus this match was set up for this week, for t uh, this uh, past Monday's Raw. Uh, we would get a we would get the next match, which is Omos versus some local competitors, which he quickly squashed. Nothing more to say here. He basically won the match and he quickly squashed them. Uh, the, I think the only there was one funny thing where uh, one it was a uh, you know it was a, a, a handicap match, and one of the competitors looking at Omos was like, "Nope, I'm out of here." He tried to leave the ring, but Omos would grab him. I did find that a little funny, but otherwise this was just. Pretty much a useless match. So we already seen all my squash local competitors, and I guess you know by Triple H refocusing the brand on other people, I guess he got to redo the whole all my squash and competitors thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dexter, uh, we got the next thing, which was the Miz finding his Miz force, uh, beating and destroying. Back where he gave them that pep talk at, only to find out that uh, that the little uh, got the little dummy guy holding the hot with the hockey shoe on wasn't the dummy at all, but which was Dexter Loomis, and he basically beat up the Miz with a hockey stick, and then put the uh, and put the Miz in his signature submission, which I forgot what the name of it was or what they call it, but he put it, he choked Miz out. And then Stroke is here. I'm guessing this is all, like I said, a build up to him and Dexter Loomis at the string rules. Um, I'm pretty sure now that they just don't care about trying to stop Dexter Loomis. And Dexter Loomis is pretty much a, uh, <clears throat> a raw superstar. And But Corey Graves, I like that. Corey Graves is the only person who seemed to think it's messed up that nobody that that's to keep getting in and hurting the Miz and nobody's really doing nothing about it. <clears throat> um, we got the we got the return I was talking about, which is Candice LeRae. That's right, Johnny Gargano's wife. She made a return versus Nikki Ash, and she beat her in fine well not in fine fashion it was a it was a uh, it was a good little five five or six minute match uh yeah pretty much they they went for that five or six minutes it it, it wasn't like total dominance but it you could tell you could tell that it was it was building towards a candidly ray pin um the little story here, I think Nikki's going through a character development because she was thoroughly upset at, at her at, at her loss, and she even ripped off her mask. So maybe they doing away with the whole superhero gimmick for uh, Nikki. Hopefully, she go back to being Nikki Cross. Um, we will get the next match, which is Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles, in which. This is which pretty much was catering to the Canadian crowd. This crowd, the crowd was good too, by the way. And um, 
yeah, this was a good match in itself. This wasn't a bad match at all. This was one. This I, I would say this was the third or second best match of the night. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good um, falls. I forgot to mention too. There was an obvious botch in the Johnny Gargano and Kevin Owens match where Johnny Gargano tried to uh, do like a, a kick to uh, Chad Gable. But his foot got caught on the ropes, and you the camera clearly caught that he never connected with uh, with uh, Chad Gable, and that was kind of funny. How Ch I mentioned that because Chad Gable still went oh like he got kicked, even though you clearly saw that his foot got caught on the ropes. But it was still it was good work by the two. Uh, but like I said, yeah, Sami Zayn versus uh, uh, AJ Styles was a good match. Uh, Solo became a, bit, a very big factor. So, uh, AJ Styles got busted open too, but uh, Solo became a very good factor in it. And on Sammy did get the victory. Um, we got a backstage promo with Damage Control uh, and ba uh, I, I was about to say I, uh, Bailey. Well, yeah, Bailey, uh, Damage Control uh, with Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, and Asuka. Uh, with actually featuring Candice LeRae, who wanted to, uh, uh, who wanted to tell Bianca that she hopes she she hopes Bianca sets uh, Bailey up at a Strange Rules, to which Bailey and them uh, took exception to, which led to uh, uh, Candice LeRae challenging Dakota Kai, which is going to be for next week. Um, yeah, then we get the main event, which is Matt Riddle versus Damian Priest. That too was a good match. It was a it was a, a good story telling how you know they they were supposed to be friends but no more because you know the whole Judgment Day and Finn Balor been trying to get um, get uh, AJ Styles to join the Judgment Day, but yeah, uh, this was a good match in itself. Um, the fans came where I think Matt Real just got a roll up pin on Damian Priest, but they all jumped him. And then Edge came out and helped uh, to even the odds or to fight to fight them off by sparing almost everybody except for Dom and uh, Rhea Ripley. And uh, then he would end up challenging uh, Finn Balor to, into a I quit match at the Strange Rules. Overall, this episode of uh, Monday Night Raw was, was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. By me enjoying it, I'm going to give it a seven out of ten big ups, which is just um, it was just coming when it comes down to that just basically means good. It was a good episode, nothing too bad. Or like the you know the whole I could have dealt with the whole without the whole Omos thing, but it didn't hurt the um, the episode in my opinion. It just I could have dealt without Omos and um. Yeah, that's it. I could have dealt. I could have. That was all. That was it. I could have just dealt without the Omos match. But you let me know in the comments below what you thought. And if you enjoy this review, you hit this button right there in the upper right corner for all of my WWE reviews. And if you enjoyed the video so much, you want to support the channel, all you gotta do, guys, is hit that like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button, hit that thanks button, and hit that join button. And also, hit any one of these videos for more of my amazing content. But don't go anywhere. Because I got more. Got some reactions coming your way. Peace. Mm -hmm.